Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Tronxy XY2 3D printer. So hopping right into the video, one of the big thanks to Tronxy for sending this printer out to me for a review. So I was super excited to get this printer and review it because of all the awesome features it has. This printer has a 3.5 inch full color touchscreen, a filament runout sensor, a power failure mode, and much, much more. So when I received the printer from Tronxy, it came in a very nicely packaged box and I unboxed it on this channel on a live stream and that was super fun. I'm going to do this more often. So make sure to subscribe for more live 3D printer unboxings on this channel. So once I got it all unboxed on the live stream, I started the first print and I did have a problem, but I'll get to that a little bit later. So more on the specs of the Tronxy XY2. So it has a 220 by 220 by 260 millimeter print area. It has a 3.5 inch full color touchscreen to control the printer. It prints up to 100 millimeters a second speed. It has a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. It prints with 1.75 millimeter filament. The whole printer is extruded aluminum and bent sheet metal. It's a 12 volt system. It has a texture plastic bed to hold prints down. It has a metal spool holder included. You can print from an SD card or USB. It has POM wheels for motion. And you can print many materials on the printer because it has a heated bed. So really good specs for a printer at this price point. Right now on Amazon, you can get it for $238 with Amazon Prime and two day shipping, which is awesome. So my first thoughts about this printer is that this is a rock solid printer with extruded aluminum and bolted together with big nuts and bent sheet metal. This thing is not going anywhere and I would feel comfortable picking it up, putting it in a car and moving it around. It's that solid. So when the printer was all set up on the live stream and put together, I did my first print and it did not go as planned. The printer stopped printing at a certain time every print. I tried to print a Benchy a couple of times, but it kept stopped printing at a certain time and the print head and Y axis would just spaz out and glitch out and not print correctly. So I contacted Tronxy and the customer support got back to me really quickly and helped me solve this problem. So it looked like I needed to change the stepper driver voltage to 0.8 volts and that seemed to fix my problem. But once that was fixed, I had another problem. So the next problem was that at a certain height, each print, the printer would actually just stop mid print. Again, I contacted Tronxy and to fix this problem, I had to loosen my lead nut a little bit and format the micro SD card. And after that, everything worked well. Just those few little problems at the beginning, but with the help of the Tronxy support team, I got the printer up and running in a few days. So once I got the printer printing correctly, the quality looked pretty good. I printed a few models, of course, and they came out not bad at all. The first one is, of course, a Benchy or a Benchmark to see the quality. This was printed in white, and it looked really, really good. All the detail was nice and fine. The top and bottom layers turned out perfect, and it stuck to the plastic bed really well. Maybe a little bit too well. I had to scrape it off with a paint scraper, but it did come off nice and clean. The next print was a little Darth Vader, put it in the same white PLA, and this came out really awesome as well. I used support on this one and it came off pretty easily, and the fine detail is really, really good. Next is a HTC Vive controller stand printed with wood, and this turned out awesome. It had a little bit of stringing, but that usually happens when printing wood. So this was a long print and it came out looking pretty well, and it fit my controllers perfectly. First try. Next is a two color turtle, and this I had a little bit of problems with. The light green shell turned out great, but the wooden parts had some small details that the printer was under extruding a little bit, which resulted in the legs and the face snapping in half. But I can fix that in the Cura profile for next time. So finally, I printed a large vase, and this was also in the light green PLA, and it turned out absolutely fantastic. The outer surface looked really smooth, but the inside had a little bit of stringing, which again can be fixed by some more tuning on my Cura profile. But besides that, this print turned out absolutely fantastic with only one parameter shell, so it printed pretty fast for a large vase. So after using this printer for about a month, here are my thoughts. The features on this printer are absolutely fantastic. The power failure mode saved my print 
when I accidentally unplugged it, which was awesome. And the filament runout sensor is an awesome feature to have just in case you run out of filament during a long print. This printer will save your part and allow you to swap in a new spool and keep that print going so it can finish. Also, the touch screen is really cool. It's really intuitive and easy to find settings and move around the navigation menu and print models. Also, the print quality is very good with the POM wheels and the super solid extruded aluminum frame. This thing is rock solid and not going anywhere. Also, the 12 volt system heats up fairly fast. It's not a 24 volt system, so it's not gonna be extremely fast, but 12 volt is still pretty decent and gets the job done. But one problem I did see is that the temperature on the bed and the nozzle varies plus or minus 10 degrees Celsius throughout the print. So this is not usually normal. Usually on most printers, it deviates around plus or minus five degrees or maybe even two degrees, but plus or minus 10 is a little more than I'm comfortable with. Also, the customer service was very good. and helped me fix my problems extremely fast. I emailed them and they always email me back within five minutes, which is awesome. If you do have any problems with this printer or, or need some help with anything about 3D printing, they're one email away. Also, the micro SD card has some great videos and instructions on it, and it has some pictures and documentation on how to assemble this printer, on how to download a slicer, and of course, it has some test models pre-installed so you can start printing right when XY2 was assembled. So in conclusion, this is a very decent printer for the price, I especially love all the features it has. So this is definitely for somebody who can troubleshoot some problems, but wants to have all these awesome features. So because of that, I would not recommend it for an absolute beginner, but people who have some experience and want to tinker around with some electronic and mechanical systems. Again, the XY2 is $238 right now on Amazon.com, and the link is, of course, below in the description for you to check it out. So thanks again for Tronxy for sending me this printer for review. So thanks again for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more 3D printing videos like this. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and I will see you guys in the next video.